Hi everyone, David here for this week's Reflex Piazza Facebook group reaction. Now, if I'm looking a bit tired, it's because I am. I've just come back from North Wales. I've been filming a top secret video for the Reflexes. They're working on a secret project that will be revealed soon. Something else that will be revealed today, though, is the winner for the Photographer of the Month for April. Can you believe we're in May already? I'm loving it because the weather's better. <laughs> so let's have a look at who won the Photographer of the Month competition for April. And it is a person you all know, I think, based on his engagement statistics in the group, you love him. It's Mr. Andy Green. Well done, Andy. Let's take a look at some of Andy's highlights. Throughout the month of May, I mean April, excuse me. This one is captured in May. He's already off to a great start in May is our Andy. This is four days ago. Yeah, this crosses the April, May threshold. And Andy is known for his, his landscapes down in Cornwall. But he's been branching out into macro photography more and more I've seen. And he doesn't just stick by the seaside. He goes more inland and something else about Andy as well that I like about him is that he's always engaging with other people, sparking a conversation, answering questions, asking questions, just really just keeping the group flowing. The group would not be the same without Andy. So congratulations, Andy. Andy wins a £100 gift voucher to spend in the Reflex store and he also gets a shout out on Reflex's blog and in Reflex's newsletter as well. Well done, Andy. Now let's move on to the April Piazza Facebook reaction community. Okay, forgive me. It was a good trip and it's gonna be an even better video from the trip, stay tuned. Now, let's have a look. Up first is some brilliant macro stuff. Now, this isn't the only one from Johnny. He's got loads more and it's how, I don't know. I mean, he's so close. You can see this, is it, I, don't, I don't know what it is, a wasp or bee. I, they all look the same to me, but you see it's little toe. <laughs> Definitely a toe going into the leaf. I love that. Like you can see all these textures that, <sighs> unbelievable. And just having a look at some more, there's a few like that that stand out. There was like, look at the lighting. That's really lighting up. Is this natural light? What's, does it, we have any information? Practicing in the garden. I don't know if it's natural light or not. It looks like, st like studio lighting in the, in the garden for these things, which for these insects could be one of these little things I've got behind me. <laughs> so like really, really top stuff from, from Johnny. Well done. Next, we have Leo. Now, Leo featured in the very first reaction video I did back in December, and his pictures always have a crispness to them. He likes this, or at least he always uses the same kinds of colors, more on the colder side. His whites have like a blue, is it like a bluish? No. I'm not quite sure. You know, the eyes can, the eye, different colors in the image can deceive you. I'm not quite sure, but they've definitely got that, that Leo look to them, which I love. And this is a long exposure, of course, and it's got, I love this reflection mixed with the not, like sometimes you pray for this sort of water where it looks like the wind's blowing the water. You pray for it to just disappear. But here it's got a mixture of pure mirror-like reflection and not, and it really works. So well done, Leo. Next, we have Andrew Hulson. More, this, this looks quite a cold image, yet you do have the warm tones from the sun. Here, you could just imagine pitching up with a chair and just like feeling the sun on your face here by this, is it a small like fishing lake or something like that? Oh. Pond, it's a pond. So there you go, fishing pond or a, just a pond. Yeah, 
beautiful, beautiful stuff. I was underestimate. Is this is this in the UK? Petersfield. It looks like the UK. I always underestimate how beautiful the UK actually is. And from my travels recently, it's just reminded me of that. So well done, Andrew. Ah, another one from from Andrew. This yeah, the same sort, of, same village, same pond, actually, and similar but different to Leo's. It's there's some texture. Is it some like plant life on top of the pond that's slowly blowing that's causing causing this but you still get that reflection it's so weird it looks like you've got almost like net curtains across the reflect across the water it's fantastic stuff and it's interesting how you've gone for the wider aspect you've you've cropped it so you've got like a wider aspect ratio like is, is it a, a two by three is it maybe not that it's wider than two by three almost looks like video, like 16 by nine, but then you've got the in, in the square. It's it's interesting. It's not something I would do, but it works. I This is why I love reacting to these photos because I get to see what works for other people and what they like to do. I'm not brave enough to do this. And now fisheye, I, it's anyone who can get a decent image out of the fisheye, I, I always applaud them because it's not easy. Fisheye photography, is, is really not easy. And somewhere in America, two American flags. This being the fisheye though, this could be the same American flag, just warped, it is that wide. And I'm not sure what this this red instance is like going on here. Was that an editing choice? I'm not sure. Either way, very engaging image here from Stacy. Yeah, city shots are epic with the fisheye lens. Ah, oh, Rockefeller Center in, wait for it, New York. Yeah, you didn't know I was from New York, did you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> next here we have, I love this sort of thing. We've got a non-long exposure and a long exposure. And these appear to be some shipping cranes. This just looks like some sort of shipping yard. We used to dock next to shipping yards and watch the cranes pick up the containers and move them. This was in like Costa Rica, shipping containers of bananas and, and stuff like that when we were on drill. That was our form of entertainment. We weren't concerned about the safety of the ship we were watching. <laughs> I, I was kidding. So yeah, this is really, my line just died, but the show must go on. Now, yeah, lovely red, orange with the blues, the purples here, even the non-long exposure was just absolutely gorgeous. So loving that. Right, next, we've got another one from Andrew. We've got a three-peat from Andrew here. He's, he's done the old flipperoo, and the way that the textures in the, sorry, the, the colors in the sky fall off and the vignette really makes this bit look like the reflection as as well. It's, it's, it's really well done. Andrew really likes messing, yes, ah, the flip, yeah. Mike's subverting expectations with his compositions and stuff like he did with the crop and the aspect ratio previously. I'm here for it. Well done again, Andrew, in South Sea this time. Now, I never thought a <laughs> picture of a punctured coffee capsule would catch my eye, but it has. This is a, ma a macro shot. It's, it's very well done. It looks almost, it looks too good to be like, I have what, 75 mil macro? Oh, okay, yeah. Using a small LED light. Yeah, okay, there's some effort gone into this, sorry. I don't mean like, if you don't use a the light, there's, you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, yeah, he's, he's put some effort into setting this up and it's really paid off. Philip, I don't think I've seen Philip before. It's really well done. Coffee pods, yeah, what do I call it? Capsule, Lightroom mobile edits. So captured on the mobile, not even the latest one. 13, 13 Pro Max is a great phone and edited on the mobile, love it. And then that is it though. I hope this actually still looks all right. I don't wanna record the video again because this, that would mean it was not my first reaction, it's my second reaction. These reactions, I very quickly look at them so my reaction can be like a real one so I'm not like you know scripting myself it's 
more authentic and I'm trying to challenge myself to, to come up with interesting comments along the way. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.